Hello, my name is Jonathan Hoover, and I'm the men's director here at Choices. Are you surprised to hear that there are men's services at Choices? Well, God's design for the family is a man and woman united in marriage, raising up their children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. So Choices also wants to be an instrument in God's hands to help restore that design in a broken world and in broken relationships. So if you think about it, as amazing as it is, and this is a, a huge goal of Choices, and that is to save the physical life of the baby, we are also just as concerned about how that child is gonna be raised. What is that life gonna look like when they are born? We want it to be abundant. We want that baby to experience eternal life. So we wanna reach the man and the woman to make sure that they have that same eternal life, abundant life, so that they can pass that along to the child. So does a man really matter in a pregnancy decision, you might ask? Well, absolutely. Both on the pro-choice side and on the pro-life side, they have done research and found that the man, the father of the baby, is the most influential on her decision, even above a doctor or nurse or other medical professional, and even above her mama, <laughs> which you might think would be the most, right? Well, we all heard her body, her choice, but every man has a voice and God has given him that voice, just as research shows, and it can make a world of difference. If you don't mind, let me share a client's story. Very first month that I started at Choices, almost three years ago, there was a young couple that came in. They had kind of hooked up two months before and surprise, we have a pregnancy. Well, I invite him into my office and he explains to me that she wants an abortion. I said, okay, well, how do you feel about it? And he said, wow. I'm really excited that I could be a father. And I said, oh, really? I said, does she know that? He says, oh, no, it's her body, her choice. I said, well, it may be legally her choice, but you have a voice. Did she tell you about the pregnancy? Yes. Then she cares what you think. We are looking for volunteers now, male volunteers for me, but also female volunteers, um, because we don't want any man to be missed in our center. We also don't want any man out in our community to be missed. We want everyone to know that they can come to choices where they will not experience judgment, but they will experience love and support and all the information they need in order to successfully become the family that God designed for them. So, I need a lot of men to handle the medical services side, which is talking to them at the pregnancy or the ultrasound. I also need a lot of men to parent, do parenting classes and raise these men up to be great fathers and to, to pursue marriage and to become great spiritual leaders. I also need men to get out in the community. Um, we are in Silverdale Detention Center. We are providing... Uh, parenting classes for men who are about to get out. My, my goal and my vision is to get into all the community centers around town and do parenting classes there and to spread the word as much as possible about that Choices does have something for men and that it is not just a woman's place, um, but we welcome them as families. If I may, uh, Talk about a sensitive subject. Sometimes our couples do choose to abort. And many of them, you might argue that most, they experience serious regret. They experience guilt and shame afterwards. And these lead into uh, depression and addictions and all kinds of things. And it's not just the women who experience these. You've heard from Kelly, most likely, about our women's after abortion support, but also men 
experience it. Now, we men, we're good at compartmentalizing. We put something in a box and we say, we'll deal with that later when we experience trauma. But more often than not, that trauma, that box leaks and starts poisoning the rest of our life. And we have to reopen it and we have to deal with it. And so I've had the privilege of walking some men through a, a process of healing from that and then allowing them to tell their story to impact other people's decision. What a joy that is. So that if, if you are here in this church and we know that you know, 40% of women were attending church at least once a month when they had the abortion. No statistics on men. But how many men were attending church at that time? And how many men, how many of you are sitting here in the pew thinking, that's me, and maybe, maybe I need some help? Well, you can reach out because we want to meet you where you are, and we want to bring you hope and healing as well. Well, if I may, let me close with the uh, men's ministry vision, and that is that we transform Chattanooga one family at a time by being an instrument of God to restore his design for the family. Thank you so much for your time.